Welcome back to another episode of Out There Living. On this episode of Out There Living, we go into a little bit more detail about levelling the van and how to use your stabilisers. And we go through a few different methods about how to uh, put them down and set up and stuff like that. Uh, a few points we missed in the, in the last video, we'll talk about that. So the first thing I want to talk about is the stabiliser legs themselves because one of the viewers brought something up that is probably a really really good point to talk about. So they are stabiliser legs, they're not jacks. Um, in our last video we set up by um, in a way jacking them up. Uh, we use the drill um, with a torque setting so we don't overpower them but yes it's probably not the right way to to treat your stabilizers they are not jacks repeat that so you don't although you can go up on them a little bit you probably don't want to jack on them really hard with the handle um, that's why we use the drill with a torque setting and it seems to work really well the only time I've broken a roll pin is when I'm using the um, cross brace handle so and tried to um, yeah just push it a little bit too far so there is a few methods that you can use where um, we'll go through that in a minute where you take the load off the stabilizers and, and get the van level using other methods uh, we one thing we won't talk about is um, leveling chocks and leveling ramps because i've never really used them and i don't know a thing about them so um, that's that's so, something for another day so we start back at the front of the van at the jockey wheel here and it's down and we'll have a look at the bubble so we can make a plan. So you can see the bubble here on uh, the side to side is almost in the level range there. Um, and the front to back is way high at the front. So um, what we need to do is we need to get the back of the van up and the um, the door side, the awning side, up a little bit too. So um, what we'll do is start by putting the jockey wheel all the way down. And I can do that with the drill. As you can see here, that's now moved level. And here, but this one, it's way out it's really low on this side and high on that side so what we're going to do is drop this bubble right down a little bit more so it's high at the back and we're going to leave uh, the stabilizers down this side of the van a little bit high so then we come down to the back of the van drop this down So I'll drop this leg down, and you can do this on full ball, because with the torque setting of this drill, it's gonna get to a point where it doesn't wanna push any harder. Go around and do the other side. So we've put the back stabilizers down, a rough sort of guess where we think they're gonna need to be. So now we'll bring it up using the jockey wheel, so we're not using the stabilizers to jack, we're using the jockey wheel to bring it up, putting our stabilizers down, and then taking the weight off the jockey wheel again. And you can see here, we're about high on the front to back and high on the side to side, so we go a little bit more, and then we can come round. Drop these down, just firm like that, nothing more. Then a little bit of weight off, just slowly. You can 
see here, the bubble's touching one black line on the front to back and almost touching the black line on the side to side. And that is spot on to what we want. Um, that little bit out of level, you won't notice. Um, and thanks for one, to one viewer for pointing that out. Um, good to know that the shower base doesn't have very good fall towards the plug hole. So you can set it up low on the plug hole side, which is to the back and to the driver's side. Um, and that'll help the water run away and keep the feet dry. So what we do now is put the jockey wheel down. Just firm, just as an added, um, another added bit of stability there. So capping off, having a look at what we've done. We've stabilised the van and we've levelled it without using the uh, stabiliser legs as jacks. And thanks to the viewer that brought that up, I'll, I'll put your name on the screen. Um, it, it's just a bit more equipment friendly and, and they're not designed to jack off. So we didn't really talk about that at all in our last video. Uh, we do use the drill which has the torque settings and it, make, it makes sure we don't jack too hard. But we, yeah, we still do jack a little bit. Um, we probably shouldn't and yeah, it's not the best advice to give you guys. Um, I'm certainly no expert so it's just how we do it. Um, we know there's the right way, the wrong way and, and there's in between and we probably, um, especially we want to set up in a hurry and we're not staying very long, we'll, we'll always be the go on the in between and the, um, the, at the end of the day you're going to get equipment failures and we've had it as you can see, we had a broken leg with the, um, the roll pin in, in the gears of the stabiliser leg broke. So. Um, it's a great method, give it a go, um, we'll just cap off how we went about it. So you want to bring the, um, the jockey wheel right down and have a bit of bias level to the back, so high at the back, low at the front. Um, put your, your rear legs down, have a look at your cross slope before you start and you might need one um, stabilised leg touching the ground and firm and the other one just, you know, an inch or so off. Um, and then you can bring the van up a little bit, see if your stabiliser legs are taking up on the back. And if they are, you bring it up using the jockey wheel and then bringing the stabiliser legs down a little bit as you go, um, just to support that jockey wheel, not to jack, just to support it. And then a bit more on the jockey wheel. You can reset the jockey wheel heights if you have to. Uh, bring it up till you've got the level bubble where you want it and then bring all your stabiliser legs down just till they're firm and try not to jack off them. Um, I find the drill is good, uh, impact drivers probably a bit aggressive and even the um, cross brace they give you, don't push it too hard. The only time I've ever broken roll pins is using the cross brace. Yeah, this, this method might not work on big vans or tandem axle I haven't tried. Um, you'll just have to have to give it a go and let me know if it works or not. I know it works on smaller hybrids and caravan, uh, camping trailers. So yeah, um, I love the method. Uh, we use it a bit. Um, yes, we do jack off these legs a little bit when we're we're rushing or um, we shouldn't do it. We shouldn't um, recommend anyone do it. We did a little bit in our last video. Um, probably not the best. Um, Advice. So if you can try to do it this way, um, works a lot better, and it's more um, it's more friendly on your equipment.